us the book. I'll look for it. I'll send you a copy. Drew Barrymore could never! Come on, Nev! Every one of you is gonna be face down on the floor, not listening to me. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Halloween Spirit. It's that time of year again where locations just pop up out of thin air like a rash. I thought it's Spirit Halloween. And by the time November 1st comes around, it turns into an old Christmas shop. I want to tell you about Christmas Town. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. We appreciate you tuning in to a brand new Halloween spooktacular episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you like your movies spooky and filled with Halloween spirit, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, if Spirit Halloween was a movie by George, this would be that film. Brooke, why don't you tell everyone out there what we're watching this week? Today, we are watching Dimension Films 1996 Scream. I've seen the movie a gajillion times. I have nothing to say. Scream. Did it make you scream or does it make you laugh? Because when I see the villain killer character on Dead by Daylight, I just laughed being chased around, trying not to be hooked. It's been at least 20 years minimum since I've seen this. I'm not going to remember most of it. If you're brand new to our channel, what Brooke and I are going to do is we're going to watch Scream. We'll give our own thoughts. And from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official Freckle score. So without further ado, it's 1996. It is the one, the only Scream. Let's roll it. Hello? Who is this? Who are you trying to reach? What number is this? I think you have the wrong number. Take it easy. <laughs> Hello? I guess I dialed the wrong number. See ya. With their fire range stove and this Jiffy Pop. Why don't you want to talk to me? Drop in the comments if they still make Jiffy Loop. Jiffy, Jiffy Loop? Loop? <laughs> You've been watching too much P. Diddy news. There was something in that other than baby oil. If I would give it a wild guess, it was and like some of the people told me, it was probably that GHB. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Some scary movie. What's your favorite scary movie? The one with the guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters. Yes. You want to ask me out on a date? While your boyfriend is on the way. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Hey, why are you just throwing it to every man with a deep sounding voice? Want to know who I'm looking at? What did you say? What do you think I said? Hello? I thought we were gonna go out. I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. Dial someone else, okay? Asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch. Got you like a fish. Ooh, lordy, the language. Bloody. Can you see me? You've got all these glass windows. Putting the padlock on ain't gonna do jack squat. No curtains, no blinds. They can see right through. You better just leave or else. Or else what? My boyfriend will be here. You didn't have a boyfriend. I lied. Your has better be clean. Sure. Biggity he plays football. Kick the shit out of you. His name wouldn't be Steve, would it? How do you know his name? <laughs> Turn on the patio lights. <laughs> She's doing better than the crow. Let's give her her props. Don't touch me! All right, Brandon, no disrespect. That really wasn't that great acting wise. Boy. I hope you're resting peacefully though. I'm happy you said it though. I'm happy you said it. Oh my God! This is the big bad football player. He looked like 
the kicker. Drew, tell him it's been real. There are 52 other people on the team. Play college football a little bit professionally. Was a kicker and a punter? Nobody, Nick. I was a kicker and a punter. <laughs> I, I was a punter, but I was a kicker too. What kind of a game? You'll see what kind of game. No. He's like, bitch, you leaving me out here? Yes, motherfucker, yes. yes. Both of us can't die. Come on, it'll be fun. Name the killer in Halloween. Is that a Nintendo console under the TV? That's a $1,500 Sony, but what's on it? Oh, those are VHS tapes. What she got? Michael. <laughs> yes. Yes. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. <laughs> Jason. That's the wrong answer. No, it's not. It was Jason. Afraid not. Then I saw that movie 20 goddamn times. If my teenage daughter was using GD language, young lady. Allie, she invited her boyfriend over more than likely to have sex. And before he came over, she was about to go out with some other man. <laughs> And she keeps running up my minutes. This is a long distance phone call. Do you know how expensive Sprint was in 96? Sprint introduces a whole new way to save on long distance. Call now for 10 cents a minute and get up to 100 minutes free. What door am I at? If you answer correct. Not a mail opener. <laughs> Let's just burn the house down. Throw the popcorn at him. Got some hot grits over there on the stove. Lisa, why don't you give Carlos some? They hot. You could use that as a shiv, though. You could. She can't. What they grow on tobacco? <laughs> Bitch, why are you move. stopping? Way he's running. <laughs> Suffocate him. He has that mask on. I do not care how much money you make. If I had kids, they're damn sure taking self defense courses. <laughs> He had the strength to take his mask off. But look at the color of the blood on the knife. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it's kind of Kool-Aid, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Casey? Casey! <laughs> Ooh, she heard her get stabbed? Casey, baby. <gasps> <We're in shock. laughs> oh, my God, I can hear her. Drive down to the Mackenzie's. You're gonna leave the woman by herself? What kind of man are you? I would have damn sure tried to pull her down though. There may have still been some time to resuscitate her. She probably would have lost too much blood, but for the fact that you heard yeah. her coughing yeah. for life on the phone, I would have yanked that body down. That's how you know you got money in the 90s. You had a computer in your own room. Are you sleeping there? What's going on in there? I heard screaming. No, you didn't. No? My flight leaves first thing in the morning. I won't be back till Sunday. I'm staying at the, out at the airport. Have a good trip, okay? A return to innocence. Oh, skull. Billy. I've never snuck through your bedroom window. And I didn't ask you to come sneak in here either. Good, then go. He's popping in like, what's his name on Clarissa Explains It All? Hi, Sam. Did you get them? Sure I got them. Sort of. Got me thinking of us. Two years ago, we started off hot and heavy. Nice solid R rating on our way to an NC-17. That's 90s right there. Things have changed. Lately, we're just sort of edited for television. I wouldn't dream of breaking her underwear rule. He's very greasy. Maybe we could do a little on top of the clothes stuff. Okay. Ooh, get away. It's always that fine line between people pleasing and consent. Unfortunately, things you have to learn. I wouldn't dare of breaking your underwear rule as I put my hand up, up your, your nightgown. Night Get the fuck out of my room. You know what my dad will do to you? He'll make you look like Drew Barrymore four minutes ago. Let's find out. I appreciate the romantic gesture. Is it? Where's the boom box? I come I'm not trying to rush you at all. As you Bullshit. put your hand, you stuck up your her hand gown. up my fucking gown. Snuck in her bedroom How dare at you? night when she's getting ready for sleep. Get the fuck out of here. It's a school night. Greasy ass man. You should settle for a PG-13 relationship. She chose to flash you. That does not give you permission to break the underwear. Did she really though? 
or does she still feel pressure to make him happy, to keep him there? Hey, drop in the comments. Who gave Nev Campbell a secretary hairdo? She looked like she types 85 words per minute. Come on, Mavis Beacon. Welcome to typing class. I'm your teacher, Mavis Beacon. Click the computer in the center of your screen to start your lesson. Our sources tell us that no arrest- Yeah, that is Courtney Cox, yeah. you're right. What is going on? Why does this pale chick look like, what's her name for Mean Girls? It's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. Casey Becker and Steve Orris were killed last night. She just texted me in English. Not anymore. I found her hanging from a tree, her insides on the outside. How do you know all of this, young lady? Do they know who did it? Fucking clueless. Do you think it's cool? Do you who's saying this is the worst crime we've seen in years? Even worse than it's bad. Who's up next? Sydney Prescott. Prescott. She was daughter of uh, Sydney. Jared Burke. Dewey. Deputy Riley today said. Only because he's not that old. The police just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? There's no way a girl could have killed him. That is so sexist. It takes a man to do something like that. Hey, Stu, didn't you used to date Casey? Like two seconds before she dumped you for Steve. Oh. I thought you dumped her for me. I did. He's full of shit. Ooh. Oh. Are the police aware that you dated the victim? Ooh. What are you saying? I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. He's giving real turtle turtle energy. Damn. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Stu was with me. Last night. No, I didn't kill anybody. But he said you did. It takes a man do something like that. Did you really put her liver in the mailbox? I found her liver in the mailbox. Why the fuck are you getting a high off of talking about this? Jeffrey Dahmer. Eating a sandwich that my neighbor made. His apartment been smelling like a dead raccoon's ass. It doesn't even smell in here. Take back the complaint. I made you a sandwich. If my friend died the way that she died, and I'm not saying she was their friend. I mean, she was an associate regardless. They knew her. I would be bitch slapping folks like, shut the fuck Fuck That's up. freaky as hell. Oh, look at that little entryway. Look at this patio. HGTV would have a fucking field day with this. Welcome to the HGTV dream home. Police and reporters and everything. It's like deja vu. I'll be there by seven. I promise. Spiral staircase, floor to ceiling wallpaper. I smell currency. Look at the open space though. TV? Ooh. Yeah, that's very 90s. Those damn ducks? Everybody had those damn ducks. The Woodsboro double murder case. The town's in shock, and no one can quite believe what has happened here. It's not the first time Woodsboro has endured such tragedy. A year ago, Maureen Prescott, wife and mother, raped and murdered. Is that her mom? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Professional woman, too. Only child. I know you miss her. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, her dad's gone too. That's right. He's gone for the weekend. Traveling. Oh, that's a tough time to be gone. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Hello? Back to train late. I'm on my way, okay? Past seven. Casey and Steve didn't bite it till way after ten. That's comforting. I'm gonna swing by the video store. Home cruise and all the right moves. Pause it just right. You can see his penis. Can we verify that? <laughs> such an asshole, huh? Yes. Get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Who is this? You tell me. You're not gonna call me and ask me questions. Scary night, isn't it? Right out of a horror movie or something. Do you like scary movies, Sydney? The thing you're doing with your voice, Randy. It's sexy. What's your favorite scary movie? What's the point? They're all the same. Stalking some big-breasted girl. See? Who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. And that's why Nev plays Sydney. Alone in the house. Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm not Randy. Who are you? The question is, where am I? Can we not? Where are you? Your front porch. Well, I call you bluff. Why are you opening the door, though? What am I doing? What am I doing? If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. Woo! Do you want to die, Sydney? You Oh, wow. Fuck you, you creep. Stop the fist. Come on, Sydney. Come on, go. Nuts, nuts, nuts and run. Nuts and run. Oh, shit. I know that hurts. He has all of that draping. How's that not getting caught up with the drapes? That's right. That's right. Good, good, good. Out the window, out the window, just like homeboy. He's so mad. Man, he's so mad. <laughs> Come on, we not dying today. Door slapped. I heard screaming. <laughs> People are serious in the house. He's gone. How do you know he's gone? <gasps> whoa, 
whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I found this. Come on. You wish to get out of the right to remain silent. What kind of fucking police work is this? Do we? Decimal system. Sydney. Oh shit, she's been through. Oh shit, Sydney! Dad's out of town, all right? She's staying with us tonight. Does mom know? Oh, they're siblings! Oh, it's a sibling! That explains the informal relationship. Creepy, huh? Now how the fuck the news station know? Sydney, is that you in there? What happened to her? None of your damn business. Heard something about a costume. I heard something about leave me the fuck alone. Where's she going? Are you sure it was in Hilton? At the airport. He's not registered there. We'll find him. Look at the Dunkin' Donuts! Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. What are you doing with a cellular telephone? Why don't you check the phone bill? Call Vital Phone Comp. They got the records of every number dialed. What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? Trying to fuck while her dad was away. Sydney said you crawled through her window last night, too. You went out last night? Mm. Whoop! Got bored, I decided to go for a ride. Ride by Casey Becker's house? I didn't kill anybody. We're gonna have to hold you, son, till we get those phone records. Jail does look good on you. It makes sense. Why are you scowling at me? Why are you scowling? Jail yeah, weather is putting live in what's my police station. Sydney, come on, you know me. I'm gonna need this Scooby Doo, Bouncy Betty Boo, <laughs> Pale, mother who is she? I'm not talking to you guys. <laughs> There's no way to track the purchase. We won't know anything until the morning. These kids today. These darn kids today. When I wear this badge, you treat me like a man of the law. Deputy Dewey boy, but we're ready to go. Yeah, deputy dog. How many times have you told us today, deputy dog? Go on, go on. He's my superior. The janitor is your superior. Mm -hmm. Oh, aww. Isn't there a back way out of this place? I'm an alley, I think. There she is. Sydney! Are you all right? She's not answering any questions, all right? Just leave us alone. So, how's the book? I'll uh, look for it. I'll send you a copy. Drew Barrymore could never! Come on, Nev! Every one of you is going to be face down on the floor, not listening to me. I'll send you a copy. Bam! Sid, super bitch. Thought you might want some ice for that right hook. I don't like the way Dewey is looking at my sister's friend. Telephone, honey. For Sid. My dad? I don't think so. Take a message. That's not my father. I know. How's she doing? Ma'am, you should not be accepting calls for sitting here. Sorry, I cannot hear you. I'm kind of busy. Hello? Hello, Sid. Why? No. Oh. I'm Billy Boyfriend. Leave me alone. Wrong guy. Wait. Again. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Dewey with, with the, the gun. gun. With the gun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello. <laughs> Cotton Weary awaiting appeal for the death sentence after the young Sydney testified against him. Is that Liam Schreiber? Mm hmm. Ah! Was that the point of that one? Or, or did you want to know if I was in Scream? Billy was released. Cellular bill was clean. Any calls made to you or Casey Becker are being cross referenced. Okay, that's a start. She needs round the clock protection. Honestly, she needs witness protection. Schooler, you'll be safe here. People want to know. She's a child. Stop right there. Camera, now. Off yep. the record, no cameras. Look, your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. You got what you wanted? Cotton Weary's in jail. They're gonna gas him. Call me a liar. I think you falsely identified him, yes. Ooh. Have you talked to Cotton? Many times. He admits to having sex with your mother. She never would have touched him. He left his coat at your house after your mother seduced him. You saw someone leave wearing that coat. The same someone who planted it in Cotton's car, framing him. Mm. Cotton murdered my mother. You're not so sure anymore, are you? The killer's still on the loose, isn't he? Those murders are related. Sorry I mangled your face. <laughs> Innocent man on death row. A killer still on the loose. This is huge. You can't just sit on it. He was in draft day. Ask me who wasn't there. Who wasn't there, Ralph? None of his teammates came to the poor guy's birthday party, Sonny. I'm right about this. I could save a man's life. Know what that could do for my book sales? <laughs> who allowed that in the school? You rat bastard. John. Oh, oh, I still think it's me. Someone tried to kill me. I know, me. I know. Was it her dad? He called me again last night at Tatum's house. You see? Couldn't have been me. I was in jail. But it would make sense if he tried to dress up like that to kill the mom, payback for cheating on him. But why would he want to kill Sydney? That doesn't make sense either. Billy, I was attacked and nearly filleted last night. You haven't been the same since... Since you tried to have sex with me and I told you nothing above the panties. Since your mother died. It's been a year. Because grieving stops at the one year. And well, I think it's time you got over that. Break up. Break 
up. Your mom left town. She's not lying in a coffin somewhere. Oh, trash. I want my girlfriend back. I want a better boyfriend. It's over. He still hasn't showered, has he? Disgusts me. Kill him, Henry. Two of your fellow students savagely murdered. Suspend them. You're both expelled. Yeah. Thank you. But that's not fair. You out. We call on your parents. Fairness would be to rip your insides out. Heartless, desensitized little shit that you are. That's right. That's what a master's degree does for you. Get the fuck out of my school. <laughs> <laughs> Take out your pencils and write. I want the name of every hoodlum, drug dealer, and miscreant who's done nothing but take this place apart on my desk by noon today. I think she made it all up. The girl has some serious issues. What if Sydney killed Casey and Steve? Maybe she's a slut, just like her mother. Her mother was a tramp. You're a tramp. Tramp. Kick the door open and beat that bitch down. You need the day off anyway. Did they wash their hands? Nope. Pathetic. And where is her father? Oh my God, when was the last time they cleaned that bathroom? I don't care if he's on a business trip or not. Like, once you hear news about that. Should have been on the next flight out. <laughs> Negative. Someone there? All these dramatic pauses though. Oh, Neb got freckles. Why are we not just saying this? Come on, Neb, that's why we rooting for you. If you don't get your wily ass. No, 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 show your face. <laughs> This is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. Gail Weathers, field correspondent, top story. How's the eye? It's productive. Everything's under control. Of course, you're here. You look awfully young to be a police officer. I'm 25 years old. All classes are suspended until further notice. Cheering because people died and you don't have to go to school. Get the fuck out of my school. Citywide curfew beginning at 9 o'clock tonight. It's like we've got a serial killer on our hands. I'm sorry, am I keeping you? Yes. You're not to be alone anymore, right? If you pee, I pee. Is that clear? We have the entire student body. We all say thank you. It's wrong to party tonight. My house. Celebrate this little siesta. <laughs> parents out of town. Why is everybody's parents out of fucking town? You guys bring food, all right? <gasps> yes. Why are you still there? Everybody should be buddied up. If you know people are getting killed, why are you by yourself? Damn little shits. What did you call me? <laughs> what the j- What is he wearing? What is he wearing? Why are you gonna kill the fawns? <laughs> How come Cotton couldn't prove it in court? There's been talk about other men. And you believe it. If I was wrong about Cotton Weary, then killer's still out there. Coming to my fiesta? Yeah, I'm off early. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? You're such a little lap dog. He's got killer printed all over his forehead. Why the cops let him go, smart guy? This is standard horror movie stuff. There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. What's his reason? Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with him. Now that Billy tried to mutilate her, do you think Sid would go out with me? <laughs> no, I don't at all. No. And why can't they find her pops, man? His body will come popping up in the last reel somewhere. And this is why Sydney won't go out with you. Everybody's a suspect! It's Billy. Hi, Billy. Movie freaked mine lost its reality button. Are you telling me that's not a killer? Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. You intimacy issues as a result of your mother's untimely death. How many guys will put up with a girlfriend who's sexually anorexic? Briars? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. <laughs> There's no Strawberry, sugar, and cream. Breyer's all-natural ice cream taste, not technology. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott, Sydney's father. Well, there's no way a cellular could have been cloned. We'll keep the roadblocks and the curfew in effect through the night. I don't want my ice cream cone with a side of cigarette ash. Not too much fun or a bunch of Oh my god, the houses. Does Courtney not sleep? No, she's a reporter. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Never know when or where a story will break. I'm gonna take the party out. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. Dewey, you're breaking protocol. How come Jamie Lee Curtis is in all of these movies? Hey, grab another beer, would you? Have a good time. Lots of driving. Should I be worried? Yeah. Not yet. She seemed like she gonna die. Why, why did they not what? give this girl? Whoa, whoa, why did whoa. they not give this girl a proper bra? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> They're having nipple points for a teenage girl in a rated R movie. Hey, shitheads! You know with garage door openers, you can turn the thing and just manually lift it. Oh, I spit on your garage. Why are you acting like this is normal? This is the outfit. If Sydney sees it, she'll flip. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. <laughs> the motive for just killing is just for the sake of killing? Rip the mask off! <laughs> Lord, her and look, he gonna raise the door too. Who did this? Now I'm upset. How do you slip back in the party and nobody sees you? Tatum, come on! Do you know where she is? No, I haven't seen her. It's your girlfriend. Ellie, what are you doing here? Why don't you guys go up to my parents' room? How gross is that? We do need to talk. Oh. What's Leatherface doing here? Here goes my chance with Sid. <laughs> You're a genius. I got a delay. How long is it? 30 seconds. This is his parents' bedroom? That little full-size bed? They don't understand that somebody's dying once a day. Where are the feds? Call the feds. Self-absorbed with all this post-traumatic stress. She's gonna give it to him just because she don't want to be alone? You sound so sad. Because I feel like she wouldn't give him her virginity if her dad was fucking there. And he's gonna take advantage of it too. Selfish ass. I don't want to watch your shit. <laughs> All a movie, one great big movie. Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, you were okay until we got to this point. Are even a good porno? What? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said the same thing. Are you sure? Yeah. Sydney, I'm saying this with all the respect in the world. You do not have to act like your mother, allegedly. 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 This is all alleged. And somebody else's parents flannel jc penny comforter you know they didn't change the sheets before they left out either when do yes. we see jamie yes. lee's brat jamie lee was always the virgin in horror movies certain rules successfully survive a horror movie you can never have sex you can never drink or do drugs the smell of cheetos and that Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. Okay to join me? If you're sure it's all right. I'm the deputy of this town. Okay. I thought maybe we'd walk. Oh my God, are you serious? Such a nice night out. Got a flashlight. You're asking for death? Oh my God. Well, they still have clothes on. That's promising. I'll leave you guys alone. Nice bra. <laughs> um, I just, I need, I need some, uh, a, a Christmas present. You want some lingerie for your wife? Hello? They found Principal Henry dead, gutted and hung from the goalpost. Let's go over there before they pry him down! That old Doritos bag. He's feeling bold when there's a killer on the loose. What is Dewey's salary? Not enough. After taxes, Dewey, not before. Slow down! Freeze! Go. Okay, you know what? You better work to get that story. Come on, Dewey. Is that what you're looking for? This is Neil Prescott's car. Sydney's father? You gotta get back. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it was awful. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. I regret doing it. Mm. Mm. Who'd you call? You're arrested. You're allowed phone call, so I was just curious. Dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. When I called, I didn't get an answer. Hmm. You don't still think it was me, do you? No. After she just slept with you, what kind of question is that? Clever using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. Creepy. Oh my god. Sydney. Billy, watch out! Wipe it clean. Okay. This is the clumsiest killer I've seen. What I tell you. Help me, somebody! Where your friend is yet? There we go. Right around the corner. Oh. Behind you. 
how you knocked out when a killer is on the loose? you. Look around. 30 seconds late, remember? <laughs> Flesh wound, come on, you gotta run. She's just trotting in her heels. She doing the SJP Sex and City run. Probably sure for backup. You just going in by yourself? Would you trust Dewey with a gun? He's gonna shoot first and ask questions later. That's my only thing. That little TV. Kenny! That old thick ass cement block phone. What? What's wrong with me? Well, you can hear us wrong with me. I've got laryngitis or horrible cough and <clears throat> post-nasal drip. 911. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Kenny, I'm sorry, but get off my fucking video! <laughs> She has heels on. Joey, where are you? This killer isn't scary. He's just annoying as fuck. What did I tell you? Help me, please. I'm at Stu Mocker's house on Turner Lane. It's you gotta get the fuck out of here. Stop right there. That's right. Come on, get the gun back. Stay back. Who did it? No, I did it. Please give me that gun. Fuck you both. <laughs> There's not enough therapy in the world. Wait, 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 wait. Why is he alive? Give me the gun. It's okay. How's it okay when you were stabbed? Who's flipped out? Gone man. We all go a little mad sometimes. Corn syrup. Surprise, Sydney. Oh, now, whoa. It's all part of the game. Guess how I'm gonna die? Fuck you! We already played that game, remember? We'll never get away with this. Tell that to Cotton Weary how easy he was to frame. So why did they kill her mom? They'll explain. Why did you kill my mother? That woman was a slut bag whore who flashed her shit all over town. Damn! Your mother was no Sharon Stone. Your slut mother was fucking my father. <gasps> oh. She's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. How's that for a motive? Ooh, that's white people shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> now you're no longer a virgin. <laughs> now you gotta die. Those are the rules. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. Attention. <laughs> oh, daddy. Well, daddy's the chief suspect. He cloned his cellular. Her mother's anniversary set him off and he went on a murder spree. We were left for dead. Kills you. Shoots himself in the head. Perfect ending. Watch this. Yeah! My turn! Stay to the side and don't go too deep. I remember. Ah, fuck you, Salazar! Huh? Give me the knife! Now! We gonna carry on. You gotta have a sequel! <laughs> I'm feeling woozy here! <laughs> That's my favorite line. You get the gun, and I'll untie Pops. The gun, I put her right there. Where the fuck is it? Right here, asshole. I thought she was dead. She looked dead, man. Okay. No! Works better without the safety on. This is Gail Weathers signing off. Shit. Where? I don't know, but I'm hurt, man. <laughs> Machine Hello? Are you alone in the house? You bitch! We're gonna play a little game. Guess who just called the police and reported you? Sorry, motherfucking ass! Billy, I think I'm dying here, man. <laughs> Police are on their way. What are you gonna tell them? I'm far too sensitive. I'm gonna rip you up, you bitch! Find me first, you pansy ass mama's boy. What? Call the police. You miss your sorry ass, I do. My mom and dad are gonna be so good. That is fucked up though if her mom was fucking that guy from high school. Oh, yeah. Where do you get this energy from? I always had a thing for you, Sid. In your dreams. Oh, 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 oh. Now, okay, now it's getting good. Okay, okay. Drew Barrymore could never now. I want Billy to get justice. I don't know if that's death or jail. I don't know if I would have peace knowing he was still alive. I'm sorry. I thought you were dead. Yeah, he can die and get Cotton Eye Joe out of jail. <laughs> I remember the safety that time, you bastard. This is the moment when this dead killer comes back to life. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Not in my movie. Bravo! Yeah. Oh shit, Dad? Are you okay? Do your trash. This is Gail Weathers' eyewitness account. You got a new camera crew already? Get her book though. Let's give it a freckle scar. Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give Scream its official freckle score. Definitely have been a good 20 plus years since I've seen this film. There were certain one-liners I could remember. The clumsiest killer I've ever seen. But I was laughing at myself because I'm such a goofball and I'm so gullible. And then I would get upset when Nev slept with Billy. For that to be what happened, your dead mom was the town whore. She fucked the wrong guy. I'm gonna get my revenge when I'm older because my mom left my daddy. Some white shit I ain't ever seen in a long time. It was much better than The Crow for this Halloween season. Maybe one day we'll watch Scream 2. It damn sure ain't gonna go past the second Scream. Do not ask us to watch them all. The answer is no. My freckle score for Scream is going to be three and a half out of five freckles. I had a good time. I've seen this movie a gajillion times. And you can't take it too seriously because there's comedy in the horror. Like they're making fun of scary movies while they are fulfilling this scary saga. The Jamie Curtis being a scream queen, talking about the terror train, all the movies she's in. Like, I love that. I live for this. I give Scream a 4.25 freckles out of five. Drop your thoughts in the comments if you agree and disagree with our scores. And while you're down there, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on two freckled friends i need to find out if they still make jiffy pop that is really bothering me <laughs>